All right, hello, welcome. Uh, this will be a base video for Roy uh, at Brentano. So we're gonna keep, uh, keep on practicing here at home. So let's get rolling. We started a little bit with uh, some videos from Mr. Shane on how to play Eye of the Tiger. So that's gonna be our next uh, song. That's gonna be our next tune to work on. Um, so let's get started in learning those chords and the rhythm. Um, so this song has a super distinct rhythm, really recognizable, uh, pretty well-known song. Um, so we're going to be starting on C, and we're going to be playing that C on the 8th fret of our E string. Oh, another thing too, um, make sure we're tuned up. So from the bottom up, we want to be have a nice clean E, and then an A. That's our next string. Let's make sure we're in tune. I believe Mr. Shane uploaded a video for us uh, last week that should run through the basics of that. If you have any trouble, um, just take your time with it. Google it. It, it always helps looking up basic steps. Um, there's also tuners you can use. Um, so if you don't have a tuner, if you don't have like a snark or something at home, because we'll usually uh, provide you guys with that. Uh, there's apps on your phone. You can get something on your phone super easily for free. Uh, same thing with uh, Googling it on a computer or iPad or whatever kind of appliance. Um, but uh, once we're all tuned up and ready to go, let's continue to get into the song. So again, we're starting on C here. Um, so that's the eighth fret. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to eight. Um, so that's gonna be our landing spot for the first note. Now what I want to try and start doing here is start using the third finger for that for that C there on that eighth fret because what we're going to do next is we're going to go down a whole step and we're going to go down to B flat on the sixth fret. So that one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to land on that sixth fret there. That's a B flat. So we're starting on C. Bum, 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 bum. So those are going to be our two notes for the first half of the phrase. And let's try and use again our third finger so we can move back and forth between that sort of first position there. Um, so that's going to be the first couple notes of our phrase. Um, then we're going to wrap up. So we got. Bam. two notes. We're going to slide down from our C up here. We're going to go to G. That's our third fret. Third fret on our E string. Um, so that's, we're going to land on that G and then we go up a half step to A flat. So we're going to land on that A flat. That's just one fret above G on our fourth fret. So that's going to go C, G, A flat. So this is all going to make up uh, what is kind of like an intro or maybe a chorus in this song. Super important that we get this rhythm right. Um, so one thing I also wanted to talk about here, um, since we're going to have to sort of be doing this stuff online for a little bit, it's really important that we keep consistent, uh, consistent beat here with this rhythm. So once we do come back, we're all going to be on the same page. So I want to introduce you to something called a metronome. This is a really great tool. Uh, hopefully that's not too impossible. Uh, to see with all the reflections. <laughs> there I am. But uh, so what we want to do here is get this, uh, get, a, get an app like this for your stuff. Um, this one's free. This one's called Metronome Pro. I use this all the time. Super handy. Um, there's all sorts of apps out there. If you ask your parents, um, you know, can I, can I get a, a metronome app on the iPad, on the phone, on, on a computer? Um, it'll be very easy to find one. And it's a super helpful tool, and it's going to be pretty important for us now that we're practicing alone. So I would start trying to use the metronome um, as much as you can. First, first things first, I mean, obviously, you have to learn the line. Um, make sure we're getting clean notes. Try to have a good hand position with it. So do that on your own time. Get these notes comfortable. And then what we want to do is start to introduce the metronome here. 
So this thing's going to click for us, and the purpose of this metronome is to keep time. It's going to keep our tempo nice and steady while we are practicing. So that rhythm on this, on this tempo, which is at 80 BPM, that's 80 BPM right now, we're going to be ba, 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 Yeah, so adding our notes to that. Two, one, two, ready, go. So that's our groove, that's our rhythm. That's the really important part of the song. So once we get that nice and tight, we could sort of start to move on to some of the other parts. It looks like Mr. Shane started to cover the chorus um, uh, and some of the verses in the song a little bit. But for this video, think about starting to use a metronome um, in, pr in practicing this part. And then again, work on using your third finger. Instead of sliding around with our first finger, instead of doing that, uh, which is probably going to seem a little bit easier, it might be what you in instinctively want to do. Um, we want to start using our third finger. So we can eventually start having all of our fingers at an equal strength. Um, so you want eventually uh, to have pretty pretty good comfort with with each hand. Um, and again, let's keep our let's make sure our technique is all solid. So we want to be plucking with good comfort there. So I usually kind of rest my hand on the bass a little bit. Some people might find a spot for their thumb um, to sort of lie there. Sometimes I'll do that. Sometimes I'll be on the string. Um, but let's just make sure we're coming at it nice and clean with a good angle. We don't want to be we don't want to be plucking too hard. We're not like we're not slapping here. So we're not plucking super hard. We're not doing this. We're not pulling away. We're just kind of gently. Just kind of gently getting a good amount of skin on the string there so we can get a nice resonant tone. And again, using those first three fingers for this one. And if we can, once we get down to that A flat, what we want to do is so we'll be with our third finger here. Instinctively, again, you're probably going to want to slide up with your first finger. But let's try and use that second finger so we can get all the fingers involved here. So we get a nice, comfortable uh, finger strength. And once we come back, we should be able to play that rhythm nice and strong. Um, so work on that this week. Think about getting a metronome. Make sure we're practicing consistently. Uh, and uh, we should be good to go. And we'll see you uh, next week or next class virtually. So long.